Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Wisconsin MMA Today. I'm Scott Jaffe and I'm joined by co-host Wisconsin Combat Sports, Paul Flatton. Begin. Be be begin. Sergio Pettis, 6-0 as a professional, 19 years old. Um, I turned pro right when I was 18, fresh out of high school. Three months after high school, I actually turned pro. Had my first fight here uh, in Canada, actually. Second fight was against um, Tony, which was uh, here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, at Potawatomi. Tough fight. Um, you know, the guy came at me very strong. Uh, a lot of wrestling, stuffed most of his takedowns, and um, beat him pretty much in every aspect of the game. I'm still young, so I'm figuring out my style. I'm you know, still kind of kind of shy in the cage, I guess you could say. I'm not throwing these big, flashy kicks yet. Um, but um, you know, I'm getting to the point where I'm, I'm feeling more comfortable as I fight more. My last fight, um, I fought Jimmy Jones, very tough professional fight and in Vegas. Guy's really tall, had a lot more reach than I did. He's jabbing me a lot, my face is all beat up, but I uh, came out the winner. Sergio Pettis, man, is, uh, you know, a lot I can say about the kid. He's so young, so versatile um, when it comes to fighting. Um, I've only been here a year and a half, so just to see his progression since I've been here has been extremely, you know, streamlined. Um, from local shows, fighting, being the headline, uh, big name, you know, it's a lot of pressure on a kid like that, and him being so young and handling it is just a tribute to, you know, the gym, Rufus Sport, um, Duke and his brother Anthony mentoring him, bringing him, bringing him up. Um, his skill set speaks for itself, man. This guy's an incredible kickboxer. Um, you know, he he can do it either side. His dexterity, you know, head kicks. He's got the Showtime flash, but he also has his own staple. He likes to put on things. You know, Sergio is his own person, and you can see that in the cage. So I started off doing martial arts uh, ever since I was born, really. Um, my mom got my two older brothers in Taekwondo as she went to college at Alverno. Um, they were taking Taekwondo classes, and, um, you know, she got me involved, obviously. You know, you see your older brothers doing stuff, you want to be a part of it as well. And um, actually, my first class, um, I remember telling my mom, and she always brings it up to me. I always used to say, uh, I'm a lover, not a fighter. So, you know, growing up, is like, I was really, really shy, really soft. I didn't really like to hit people, and now it's crazy. You know, I'm a professional mixed martial artist, so it's like, uh, it's crazy how much I've changed since I was a child, and from the sport changed me as well. Um, I've been training at Rufus Sports since I was 13, about uh, 13 going on 14, eighth grade, freshman year. I had my first kickboxing fight when I was 14 years old. Um, won that one by decision. Uh, you know, you have the big gloves on and the big shin pads and the headgear, couldn't finish the guy. Um, had my second fight, finished him with a spin back kick. And then my third fight, I fought this really tall kid. And um, we went three rounds as well. And um, I had another, my first time doing kickboxing without the shin pads, I won a decision. Um, I won that fight, it was a tough fight, I never knew how much a shin kick hurts. <laughs> yeah, I never really, I kicked, um, first time I actually been kicked, that was the worst, my leg was completely bruised. And after that, you know, that's when I started taking uh, MMA a little bit more serious. I went from kickboxing to doing wrestling, jiu-jitsu. And at first, you know, I've, everybody's like, you know, I don't want to do wrestling or uh, jiu-jitsu. It's kind of weird, you know, because you're touching another guy and whatever. But, um, you know, I got past that. And, uh, I mean, I love the sport. The sport's done so much for me. And um, me and my brother, you know, we're going we're gonna to have a lifetime stories to tell our kids about us going, growing up in the sport and what we have accomplished, <coughs> what we have accomplished, and uh, what, you know, what our kids are going to be. Hopefully, you know, they want to be the same thing. And I think it's just a great sport in general if you want to learn how to defend yourself, meet some great people, and uh, get a good workout. And I love MMA, and uh, I love Duke and, and Anthony. And I also want to thank my mom. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be where we're at right now. And um, she, she pretty much started this all off from Taekwondo to where we're at now. So if it wasn't for her, 
you know, we, we, who knows what happened. We lost our dad at a young age, and, um, you know, we could have went down the wrong path, but my mom was just a tough lady, and she, she kept us through. It's also her birthday today, so happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> you know, he's flashy, but to a certain extent, um, he's really technical, you know what I mean? And uh, that just, you know, pays dividends to, the, to his trade, you know, the time he puts in, because he picks up the little details that people don't see. Um, his ground game is awesome. You know, even wrestled in high school, um, you know, and he's, his wrestling has continued to get better, you know, uh, working under Ben Askren. Um, his jiu-jitsu game is slick, as you've seen with his uh, pro win when he stepped in for Chico. You know, the kid can do it anywhere. And, um, you know, this last fight in RFA was a tough one. Um, it's something that Sergio needed, you know, it showed him that um, when you're fighting, you know, you got to be a man, you got to step up, have that aggressiveness. And uh, I think after the first round, you've seen that. So um, Sergio Pettis, man, next big thing. I don't see too many 135ers, or if he chooses to go down to 125, that can really, you know, handle a kid like that because he's really good everywhere. He's young. All right, Sergio, the Phenom Pettis, he lives up to his nickname, the Phenom. Um, well, I can't say, I mean, I remember him when he was a teenager training with us years ago, and he's been absorbing everything he's learned. He was, already came in as a kid with real good stand-up skills and kept uh, improving those skills little by little. Then he's in ground games, has been improving uh, drastically. Uh, we see it in all of his last couple uh, fights. Um, whether he was amateur, now he's a professional, displaying his ground game on the ground, just kind of a very good listener, very good student, just able to take everything in and uh, showcase all that inside of the cage. Great experience for me to fight someone like that. I finally got challenged in my career. And the Tony fight, man, I was very happy. That was probably one of my best performances, I think, of my professional career so far. I just felt completely comfortable in the cage in front of my home crowd. Um, you know, I had to impress my family. My mom was there, so I couldn't lose in front of her. Also, my cousin Eli was there. I didn't want to, you know, I want him to look up to me, even though he's a little bit older than me. But, um, yeah, I'm just still doing, still doing what I got to do. Um, you know, I feel like the difference between me and most fighters is that they do this as a hobby, and I was just, you know, I think I was chosen for the sport. Um, I mean, I didn't really think I was going to be a professional fighter. And now that I'm here, it's just like, you know, it's crazy. I'm, I, I'm a professional in the sport. I, ne I never thought I'd be here. And um, now that I'm here, I'm going to make the best out of it. And I'm going to try to keep my record um, just clean and try to make it to the UFC as soon as possible. He's 19 years old, young kid coming up. Probably had one of his toughest fights. And I never had a tough fight that, that way. So for him to have that experience, you know, 15 minutes, having to adapt, having to adapt game plans, switch up game plans, and, uh, you know, being on TV at that young of an age, I mean, I think all that plays in a role. It's going to make him that much better when he gets older. Um, I was very proud of him. He did work, and, uh, I mean, he took some damage, but uh, he pulled through and he won the fight. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months, and now we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to homes. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Rufus and Pettis Showtime Sports Bar, where you watch the fights with the fighters. I'm lightweight world champion Anthony Showtime Pettis, along with MMA trainer Duke Rufus. And come fight time, we want to see you at Showtime. Highway 100, one block north of Silver Spring. Rufus and Pettis Showtime Sports Bar, where you watch all MMA action on two 15-foot mega screens. I'm MMA coach Duke Rufus, along with lightweight world champion Anthony Showtime Pettis. Come fight time, we want to see you at Showtime. Highway 100, one block north of Silver Spring. Like Tiffin. Visit us at tiffinmats.com. You're watching Wisconsin MMA Today. Scott Jaffe here along with Wisconsin Combat Sports' Paul Flatton. This next bout features Sergio Pettis taking on Firewall Michigan's Tony the Tiger Zielinski. Paul, why don't you tell the fans what they're going to see here in this next fight? You're going to see exactly why Sergio Pettis is so heralded. 
you know, he's one of the better strikers, and he's coming up against a, a guy that's really a talented fighter in himself. So watch Sergio Pettis and see why everyone's raving about him. You're watching Wisconsin MMA today. We've got a very special bantamweight bout under 135 pounds featuring out of the blue corner, fighting out of Farwell, Michigan, representing Team Undisputed, Tony the Tiger Zielinski, and fighting out of the red corner, representing Milwaukee's Roofer Sport MMA Academy, Sergio the Phenom Pettis. Again, you're watching Wisconsin MMA today. There is NAFC announcer Chris Garrity. Scott Jaffe here along with my partner, Wisconsin Combat Sports, Paul Flatton. Scott, I could not be more excited for people around this area if they've never seen Sergio Pettis fight to watch him. You know, this is the future of mixed martial arts and, you know, Wisconsin and Milwaukee in general has been a place where a lot of these prospects come and Sergio is the next greatest and maybe the greatest prospect to ever come out, you know, alongside his brother Anthony Showtime Pettis. I was just going to mention, uh, Sergio, the younger brother of UFC star Anthony Showtime Pettis. You're looking at Tony the Tiger Zielinski, again, representing Team Undisputed from Farwell, Michigan, fighting out of the blue corner. You can tell by the tape around their wrists. And again, representing Milwaukee's Rufus Sport MMA Academy. Just talking about him, Sergio the Phenom Pettis. You know, there really is not that I've ever noticed. As, as the sport of mixed martial arts evolves, you see Anthony in the background there, I don't know if there's ever been someone as hyped and really people know about such a young fighter like Sergio. I mean, they, there was articles written on Sergio when I think he was 14, 15. People have been talking about him forever. And now we finally got to see him as a professional here. And he just does not disappoint. Again, you're watching Wisconsin MMA Today. This was NAFC Unleashed. Coming to you from Pottawatomie Bingo Casino in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Wisconsin MMA Today, produced in partnership with the Wisconsin Army National Guard and powered by Concede, sponsored by Showtime Sports Bar and Tiffin Mats. Getting ready for first round action here. Go ahead, Paul. This is only three months after Sergio Pettis turns 18. I mean, that does not look like the body of an 18-year-old. And Sergio just comes out and, you know, it's, he's so fun to watch because he's trained for so long at such a young age that, you know, he really... Uh, he really knows how to just work the strikes. He's done all, you know, he's been striking with some of the world's top strikers. He's Coach Duke Rufus, Anthony Pettis, Eric Koch, just guys that are on, you know, the top of the game. And he's been learning from them, you know, since he started. And it's very evident every single time he fights. And this fight here against Zelensky is no different. Again, you're watching a special feature on Sergio the Phenom Pettis on Wisconsin MMA Today. First round action. It's so fun to watch him come in and he just keeps his distance so cool and calm for such a young guy in that cage. Easy to tell who Tony the Tiger is, just look at the hair. Oh, and the tattoo, he lives that up. Zlinski comes in with that kick and Sergio throws his first strike. It doesn't land, but Zlinski knows the story behind Sergio and is backpedaling instantly. Scott Jaffe here along with Wisconsin Combat Sports, Paul Flatton, you're watching. NAFC Unleashed on Wisconsin MMA today. This bout coming to you from Pottawatomie Bingo Casino in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Watch Sergio's head bob. You know, he's changing levels. It's just stuff that comes way later in life for most fighters, but this is kind of right away. Oh, he comes out with those kicks. He, he right, you know, he's showing some exciting stuff and his kicks have always been fun to watch, just like his brothers. And, he, and the left hand is dangerous. He's got, you know, power in both hands. Just a guy that does things way beyond his age level. You'll hear people talk about the accuracy of Sergio striking. It blows a lot of people away that he's actually just this new to the sport. Yeah, I mean, I remember, you know, way back when he was fighting at the state fair, you know, an amateur division, 15, 16, against guys that were much older than him. So he's been honing this. So now, you know, honing the skill for so long, that, you know, but he comes in as a professional still so young. But it's so surprising how long someone's actually been working on it and doing this stuff. Again, you're watching Wisconsin MMA Today. Tony the Tiger Zielinski fighting out of the blue corner. Sergio the Phenom Pettis out of the red corner. Sergio's so elusive. He doesn't literally let anything land. He, he stalks, stalks, stalks. And Zielinski's got to be nervous of every single aspect Sergio brings at him. Be sure to catch all Wisconsin MMA episodes on YouTube at WIMMA Today TV. If Sergio is just able to do what he wants at will. Every every left kick, you know, left footed kick or right punch that Zelensky brings, Sergio shrugs off and answers back with one. Catches his foot, something Sergio's done a few times now. He's very good at catching those front kicks and holding his opponent's leg up and really putting him off balance. You saw it in the Jim Jones fight, you saw it in a few others. He's just very good at making people very uncomfortable and working his game right after right when the bell starts. It's it's his cage and he shows it.
Again, you're watching a NAFC bantamweight bout took place at Milwaukee's Potawatomi Bingo Casino. Right there, a head kick does nothing. Sergio blocks it off, and when Zelensky falls, Sergio swarms and you know just finds himself in great position, looking to land strikes from the top. You know, good job by Zelensky there, trying to lock in, maybe go for a submission, but Sergio's well versed right in front of his corner. And when he feels that Zelensky may have something, he pulls out and goes where he's strongest at, on his feet. Referee Al Wickers right on top of the action. Well, this fight comes after Sergio. This is his second pro fight. His first was another head kick knockout in his debut. So he took the world from Storm right away and hasn't stopped since. Here he's taking on Firewall Michigan's Tony the Tiger Zelinski representing Team Undisputed. You know, we don't have a stat tracker here like they do in the UFC, but I would love to see how many of these punches have actually, or kicks have actually landed for Zelensky. It's just got to be a handful so far. So Joe's just been able to avoid everything at this point. You know, late in the first round, a little eye poke. He got caught with an eye there. Of course, fighter has five minutes to recover. Zelensky will come back. You know, it's Before one of those that. things, you very rarely see a guy take five minutes. You hear a lot of the experts say, why not, why, Ladies but gentlemen, had an when you're ready, you know, when you feel better, you want to get back out there. Five minutes of recovery time. You know, the adrenaline's pumping, and when you're ready to go, like you say, you're ready. And once, you know, you feel, hey, I can, I can see, and so on and so forth. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months, and now we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to home. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Rufus and Pettis Showtime Sports Bar, where you watch the fights with the fighters. I'm lightweight world champion Anthony Showtime Pettis, along with MMA trainer Duke Rufus. And come fight time, we want to see you at Showtime. Highway 100, one block north of Silver Spring. Rufus and Pettis Showtime Sports Bar, where you watch all MMA action on two 15-foot mega screens. I'm MMA coach Duke Rufus, along with lightweight world champion Anthony Showtime Pettis. Come fight time, we want to see you at Showtime. Highway 100, one block north of Silver Spring. Tough like Tiffin. Visit us at tiffinmats.com. Fighting out of the blue corner from Firewall, Michigan, is Tony the Tiger Zelinski from Team Undisputed and Rufus Sports. Sergio the Phenom Pettis from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is fighting out of the red corner. Second round action. Look at Sergio land at will coming out of there. You know, Zelinski was definitely hurt in the first, and now he's coming out, you know, he's a little more timid, and Sergio just comes out aggressively landing at will. All and over this him. Is why people watch him. Yeah, this is why All people over love him. his ability. Not letting him take oh, anything. Me. Just a beautiful knee by Sergio, you know, and he and he did he definitely didn't show that either. He just kind of pulled it out out of nowhere, and that's what's so surprising about a guy that can do everything. Here's Zelensky, what are you thinking? Where's the next punch, knee kick coming from? You're thinking, man, I got in here against a guy that looks like he's UFC ready at 18. Excellent. You're watching Wisconsin MMA today. Sergio Pettis fighting out of the red corner, Tony Zelensky out of the blue corner, Scott Joppe here along with Paul Flatto. Second round action. Right? You gotta respect Zelensky because he's heard the hype about Sergio as well, and his thought process is, you know, I'm gonna go in against a guy that's that's that good, and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna measure myself early on in his career. Sergio going to take Zelensky's head off on that kick that just touched the top of his head. Yeah, just missed that one. You know, Zelensky here go tries to get his back, but it just doesn't seem like he has enough. And if he leaves his feet, Sergio is gonna have him in trouble. So, you know, let's hold him when you can. Try to keep Sergio off of his striking. That's really taking over this fight. Again, you're watching Wisconsin MMA today. This is NAFC Unleashed, coming to you from Potawatomi Bingo Casino. Zelensky almost able, but he's just not strong enough. It, you know, I think Sergio's power really surprises a lot of people.
see the end of the first round there after the eye poke and the time. You know, we come out and now, you know, Coach Duke Rufus telling Sergio, you know, what he did wrong, what he did right, and a lot more right than wrong in that round. Again, this is Wisconsin MMA today going into second round action. Before we went to that uh, commercial, looked like it was possibly the end of the first round, but that was just a break, the five minute uh, time limit that Zelinski had to nurse the uh, poked eye. Again, we're going into the second round action. You're watching Wisconsin MMA today. This is action from NAFC Unleashed, brought to you from Potawatomi Bingo Casino. Again, Wisconsin MMA today, sponsored by Showtime Sports Bar and Tiffin Mats, of course, Produced in partnership with the Wisconsin Army National Guard and always powered by Concede. Be sure to catch all episodes of Wisconsin MMA Today on YouTube at WIMMA Today TV. Yeah, this NAFC Unleashed card that this fight was on was a spectacular one. Saw a submission from Joe Savarino, Wisconsin Fighter of the Year last year, Andrew Trace was on it. Saw a huge knockout from Will Dickey. And best of all, Sergio Pettis really got his first fight in front of Milwaukee fans as a professional. Second round bantamweight action, NAFC Unleashed on Wisconsin MMA Today. Scott Jaffe here along with Wisconsin Combat Sports' Paul Flatton. You know, the striking was definitely in favor of Sergio. So Zelensky, you know, wisely goes to try to clinch up, put him against the cage, and hopefully, you know, be able to put his game plan with his wrestling on. But Sergio just has a very strong core. And also, this is the time right after high school for Sergio, and he came off his first wrestling season. So, you know, he's, you know, he's done it all, and now it's just so tough. Zelensky's looking for a place that he may be better, but he just has not found it yet, and realistically, it's not there. Oh, spinning back kick almost landed, just the flash. Zelensky looked like he was going for a spinning back fist of his own on that. And he ate a big left jab, and his nose is busted open because of it. You know, that's what's certain. When he waits, and he can, he can land at will. When, he, when, you're, when you come in, you, you got to be very careful the way. Another flying knee that lands on the head. What a job by Sergio. He is an exciting fighter. Putting on a great show for the fans here at NAFC Unleashed from Potawatomi Bingo Casino. You're watching Wisconsin MMA today, second round action, a bantamweight matchup under 135 pounds between Farwell Michigan's Tony the Tiger Zielinski in the blue corner and Rufus Sport MMA Academy's Serge of the Feet on Pettis fighting out of the red corner from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah, watch here. What a huge left hand. And now Sergio is really landing the shots that he wants. And, you know, early on he kind of pinpointed and did, you know, not as flashy striking, but now he's realizing he has his openings. And he's landing some of those exciting. He went for the spinning back fist, or back, you know, the back, uh, the back kick. And two flying knees, and that second flying knee dropped Zelensky. And, but Sergio got right back on that feet, and he said, I'm winning here. Let's go for it. Oh, huge head kick, and that is just the way the fans went crazy. What a way to end it for Sergio the Phenom Pettis. Referee Al Whitney who steps in and stops it at 1 minute 59 seconds of the second round. Your winner by head kick, TKO victor Sergio the Phenom Pettis. It's uh, sportsmanship there. Inside Dr. Carlos Feliciano comes in to check on the fighters. Walensky will be back, a very spirited young man out of Farwell, Michigan. There you have it, Sergio the Phenom Pettis on Wisconsin MMA today with a bantamweight victory. Now here's ringside announcer Chris Garrity standing by with your winner, Sergio the Phenom Pettis. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of this bout comes at 1 minute 59 seconds of round number two for your winner by TKO, the Phenom, Sergio Pettis. Sergio, come on over here, buddy. You look great again. I've seen you fight a couple times now, kickboxing. We all saw the video of you in your first fight. Tell us a little bit about your second fight, this one right here, and how it differed from the first. Was it what you expected? Did it go in the game plan you thought? Yeah, I know he was trying to take me down the whole fight, but uh, man, Tony's a strong guy, uh, really strong grip. I couldn't get, get, uh, get off of him, but uh, he's good, man. He did a good job. Well, your stand-up looked fantastic as always. Uh, your ground game, you definitely tried to stay away from it. Are you working on the ground game quite a bit to make sure that you can go all over the mat with your opponents? Yeah, I'm not scared to go on the ground. I just got my blue belt in jiu-jitsu. We got Josie over there, so I'm not scared to go on the ground. Aaron Bridges is a great coach, and uh, you know, 
I just want to keep it standing because that's where my strong point is. But if it goes on the ground, I'm more than happy to be down there as well. Great. Tell us what you want to do next. Where do you want your mixed martial arts career to go for your third fight? Well, obviously I wish the UFC, but I, you know, I need to take some time for that. Um, I want to adapt as a fighter and as a person. So, you know, whatever Duke thinks is right, I'm going to uh, take that next step. Well, something tells me we're going to see you in the UFC eventually. Congratulations. You look fantastic. Something you want to say? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my sponsors, Karma Construction, Team Hoffman, Remax. Thank you, guys. Uh, Combat Corner, Rufus Sport, everybody in Milwaukee. And the best for last. Thank God. Without him, none of this would be possible. Thank you, Lord. The Phenom, ladies and gentlemen, Sergio Pettis. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out. The North American Fighting Championships appreciates you coming and watching our fights tonight. Drive safe. Have a great night. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months, and now we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to homes. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Rufus and Pettis Showtime Sports Bar, where you watch the fights with the fighters. I'm lightweight world champion Anthony Showtime Pettis, along with MMA trainer Duke Rufus. And come fight time, we want to see you at Showtime. Highway 100, one block north of Silver Spring. Rufus and Pettis Showtime Sports Bar, where you watch all MMA action on two 15-foot mega screens. I'm MMA coach Duke Rufus, along with lightweight world champion Anthony Showtime Pettis. Come fight time, we want to see you at Showtime. Highway 100, one block north of Silver Spring. Tough like Tiffin. Visit us at tiffinmats.com. Thank you for watching Wisconsin MMA Today and supporting mixed martial arts in our community. I'm Scott Jaffe. I'm Paul Fladden. And we'll see you next episode.